A huge part of my work life is productivity and efficiency, and I can't focus without a clean workspace. I have the studio display that I can plug everything into, meaning one single wire goes from my MacBook and it's ready to go. And to keep my desk set up clean, I found a much better solution from Ascrono. So this is the Ascrono docking station, a modern and clean approach to the vertical dock that you set your Mac into and it instantly connects to everything that you need. Made for the M2 MacBook Air, this dock includes two USB-C cables that automatically dock to the MacBook simply by sliding it into the base and a MagSafe for charging. Its sleek design feels like it fits perfectly within the Apple ecosystem, and the vertical dock means taking up 60% less space and clutter on your desk. I do have to take a second and just acknowledge this design because it's made from this quality alloy base that feels really premium. It has a smooth sliding base that you insert your Mac into. It has an LED indicator when connected. It has venting built into the back where you're not gonna see it. But I mean, just know it's there because your MacBook isn't like lighting on fire when it's concealed into this thing. It also has a rubberized base that helps it stay firmly in place when you're sliding it into this thing. So I am a huge fan of Apple accessories that you would think are made by Apple themselves for the level of quality and the fit into the whole ecosystem. And it kind of makes me wonder why Apple hasn't taken on this project and created something like this for themselves. I used Discrono for a while now, first on the MacBook Pro unit, and then the Magic Mouse dock that acts as a base station and keeps your mouse fully charged. Go back and check out those separate reviews if you're interested. And now I'm excited to share the new dock, which is a dock that's compatible with the M2 MacBook Air. It has a smooth plastic base that is the perfect fit for your MacBook Air. It slides along the surface really easily and connects to the ports with even simple one-handed use, which doesn't require a lot of force. Because it is the perfect fit in terms of shape and ports, you can buy a variety of models here based on the MacBook that you have, including everything you see here at the time of making this video. It also means that you can't use a case on your MacBook if you're using this dock because it is such a perfect fit, even though, if you didn't know, using a case on your MacBook is bad in general for the lack of venting and the possible overheating. You basically just have to align your Apple logo with the Ascrono logo to make sure you're connecting on the right side, and then it just simply slides into place, and once you're connected to power, an indicator light at the top turns on to let you know it's connected. The ports include two USB-Cs capable of 40 gigabytes per second, and now a MagSafe port with 140 watt fast charging. With that setup, you're able to plug into an external monitor, plug into power with MagSafe, and have a spare USB-C to plug anything else in like your keyboard or your ethernet adapter. You can step up your setup by adding an adapter from Ascrono that adds an HDMI port and three USB ports. Step it up another level and get all of that plus aux, SD card, micro SD, VGA, and ethernet. I personally use the studio display with a Thunderbolt 3 port that can simultaneously charge my Mac and connect anything that's plugged into any of the other three ports with just one wire. So in a lot of ways, the display acts like a hub with just one wire going to my Escrono dock. But assuming you don't want to spend that kind of money on a studio display or another Thunderbolt 3 monitor, a USB-C hub like the one from Escrono helps you accomplish this setup on a much better budget. I currently use five ports with my MacBook. One for the monitor to dock, another for the ethernet for faster internet, one for my keyboard and mouse, so when I switch between my computers, they automatically connect by one wire, and then a spare port for the occasional hard drive connection. So now my honest thoughts after daily use for a month with this thing. I was really interested to see how it would hold up, any scratching on the dock or worse on the MacBook due to constant sliding of the MacBook, after all, it is a MacBook Air that's insanely light and portable, meaning I take it out of this dock and on the go constantly. But I'm happy to say this thing has actually held up. There's not a single scratch on the dock or the MacBook itself. I'm really relieved to be able to say that because when you think about something that's vertical, it's likely to collect a lot of dust. And then while there is some, it hasn't damaged the MacBook, at least at this point. I think because it's such a perfect fit for the MacBook that minimizes the ability to actually collect a lot of dust very easily. The connection speed has been basically instant when connecting this thing. It's essentially the exact same thing as taking a cord and plugging it right into your MacBook. I am a huge fan of this thing and I actually use it every single day, just like I did on the MacBook Pro model, which I also loved. If you're interested in a longer term review, perhaps like at the one year mark, let me know down in the comments. I'll also leave links in the description if you want to pick this thing up. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.